Hey guys, it's Jennifer. Welcome back to my channel. Have you ever bought a Bucilla kit and think, oh my gosh, this is so hard, I can't do this, I need help? Well, I decided to make a pattern of my own and it's very simple and um, I, this is a tutorial for it. So if you are interested in the pattern, the link is in the description box down below. Click on that link and you'll get the pattern. You, and it's a digital pattern, so when you purchase it, it's, um, it's printable, so you print it from home. In this, in this video, I will be showing you step by step how I put together the stocking, okay? Watch all the way to the end to know how to put this stocking set together and I'm, I guarantee you will love the results. Let's dive into it. Here are all the supplies you will need for this project. Some felt, a plastic bag that's a quart size, Sharpie to put all your projects in and everything. Um, this is a beading needle, this is optional. You could, you could use that beading needle if you'd like. You will absolutely need an embroidery needle. And it's a little bit thicker and the eye is a little bit bigger. And some pins and some fabric scissors as well as regular scissors. Blue thread for the blue felt and white thread for the white felt. These are also optional. I transferred the paper printouts onto poster board so they were kind of easier to trace with. Um, sequins and beads are also optional for this project. You can totally do this project without doing the sequins and the beads and they'll still turn out really cute. So we're going to start with the first stocking. Well, technically we're going to start with the second stocking. So I made this first stocking beforehand and I'm going to show you the second stocking. So you're going to take your Sharpie and trace around the stocking template to make two stockings. And one side's going to be for the front and one side's going to be for the back. And make sure that when you're cutting each of them out that you're cutting away the tracing so you don't see the black part onto your stocking. We're going to work on this top edge first, so the trim part of the stocking. And I made this first one just to give you a reference. So I kind of determined the middle by folding it in half, grabbing a pin, and placing it in the middle to give me a rough estimate on where the middle was. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't have to be exact, which is great about these kits because you know, this kit is totally customizable. You can basically do whatever you want. But I'm showing you the design I made for this particular stocking. And this is a straight stitch that I'm showing you. Two strands of white. And you're, literally, you're coming up from the bottom, finding, you know, wherever you want it. Make kind of an X and then come back down. And you'll do that three times. If you want to do that, four times, five times, be my guest. <laughs> and I took a little tack right in the middle to secure it a little bit. And you can do that for the rest of the stars on the trim. And I always do a double knot in the back and I always hide my tail. Okay, so that's the first star and you're going to do the next four. And then we're going to move on. Okay, so I decided to show you how I kind of determine where the rest of them go. So I started with the outer edge and I'll work my way in. So I did one on each side and then I'll just do one in the middle. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. I'm a very visual learner, <laughs> so I hope this is helpful. Once you're done, you're going to use a pin to secure it onto the top of your stocking and we're going to applique it with one strand of blue thread. And literally the colors I just had on hand, um, this color blue isn't necessarily like the final color that I wanted, but I just wanted to get the product out and show you guys how to put it together so you had it out there. All right, sorry for the camera, I'm trying to, there we go. Okay, so here is the applique stitch that I'm showing you. And the applique stitch is a little bit tedious but go slow and make sure that your spacing is as even as possible. 
Okay, and you're gonna do this all the way around the top edge and all the way around the bottom. And then I'll jump ahead and I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. Okay, so here's what it looks like completely finished. From the top, from the side, from the back. And it's totally fine if you can see the stitches because we are working with white felt and white shows everything. We're going to be working with the snowflake. Cut two out, set one aside, and we're going to work on the front. We're going to start with the sequins. This is totally optional, okay? If you're like, hey, you know, this seems a little too much, you can totally skip ahead and ignore this part. But for those of you that would like to have a little bit of sparkle on your stocking, feel free to watch how I do it. So I put, I decided to put three sequins and beads in the front, on the, in the very middle. And a sequin goes first, and then a bead. And we're using two strands of blue here. And we're going to go down beside the bead. Okay, so we came up through the bead and we're going down beside the bead. And then we come up beside and then down inside the bead. So make sure that you're always going on the side of the bead one way and then inside the bead the other way. And then I'm going to double knot each of my beads just for security purposes <laughs> because I've had beads in the past just like fall off because I don't know I didn't knot them properly so okay so that's how you bead and I jumped ahead and I'm gonna, I'm just this is what it looks like afterwards so I put each individual bead on the edge and this is how I decided to put it together so I grabbed some pins and I just put a pin on each little snowflake side and I grabbed my one strand of blue and we're going to do an applique stitch all the way around and I'm just going to show you a little section. This would take a little bit of uh, finesse but you can do it because once you're done you're going to be like yeah I did that. <laughs> and this does not require any stuffing at all. Okay, so once you're finished, grab a couple pins and place it onto the stocking using the pictures provided. And we're just going to tack this down. Um, I'm not gonna applique it all the way around again because I feel like that would be kind of overkill. So I just tacked it down with the tack stitch. It's a really small stitch, really simple. And it just went around the edges. So I'm just going to show you what points I used. Okay, make sure I'm straightening out each little individual bead so it's not crooked or anything. Okay. Yeah, this happens a lot, especially when you've got beads involved. Your string, your, your thread will get caught on them. So. Don't be surprised if that happens a lot. It happens so much. But if you decided, hey, I'm not gonna add beads, then you won't have as much of a problem. Um, you will get some type of like resistance on the little edges of the snowflake, but you won't, um, you won't have the beading problem. <laughs> I just love adding beads to things because it just gives it a beautiful dimension and it makes the, it makes it pop out a little bit. And I like that because, you know, this is kind of a wintry, Christmassy type thing, and it's going to be hanging up in my house, and I want it to sparkle. <laughs> okay, so you're going to do this on all the points, all the way around. Okay, great. We're completely finished with the snowflake. There's the back of it. It's kind of cool in the back. <laughs> okay, now that we're done with that, that's the hardest part, by the way, in my opinion. So we're gonna work on the toe. So grab the toe template and trace out the toe on the blue felt. And make sure you have the right side up. Grab two strands of the white thread and we're gonna do stars on the bottom of the toe. And again, you can place them however you want. I just kind of guesstimated and each individual stocking that I made was a little bit different than the last. So that's, what's, that's what makes this unique, okay? That's what it looks like with beads and that's what it looks like without beads. So 
Either way, it's totally going to be cute. All right, so I'm going to actually add beads onto mine because I wanted to add them. And notice how the stars and the bees are a little bit different, right? So I kind of scattered them a little differently. I might have added a few less beads. So now we're going to applique it. Grab one strand of blue and applique it like we did the top. All the way around. Okay, perfect. Now, now we're going to grab the back of the stocking and we're going to pin it to the front. And we're going to add it with the same applique stitch that we've been doing all the way around. And I used white for this one. And I start on the left side and I go all the way around and end on the right side. And I'm just using the stitches as an anchor and just applying the two white felt pieces together. I'm not even touching the blue felt. Okay, so this is what it looks like completely done. All the way around. I did not change threads. I know normally you probably would change threads, but I can get away with it because I'm I was very particular. Okay, we're gonna add the tag right there. For the tag, again I fold it in half and I'm just gonna slip it into here and I'm gonna use a couple of pins to secure it so it doesn't move around a lot. And I, I make sure that it's not like too crooked or anything. Okay. Alright, so I'm just gonna pin this here and then pin the back one separately. Okay, so when you open up the stocking, it's separate like that. And we're actually gonna use the applique stitch to attach that. Okay, so I used white thread, which honestly, you can use either white or blue thread right there. That's up to you. But I used white thread and I hit it really, really well. <laughs> Okay, and I did use the applique stitch again on there. And there's the back. And now you have two more stockings to make. I hope you have fun. I hope that this tutorial was helpful to you. If it was, please leave a comment down below. Also, if you get the pattern and there's something that you see that I could improve on, I would love some feedback. So if you want to get me some feedback, please give me some feedback. I am always open for change. <laughs> I know a lot of people aren't, but I'm always looking to improve myself, okay? So, I'm really excited to show this to you guys, and I hope you guys like it. Please leave a comment down below if you did like this tutorial, if it was helpful to you. I would love to know that. Thank you for joining, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!